All right, guys, you see all those parts? I got a giant big job today to do. It's gonna actually be a three booth load job, and it's a giant three, uh, 1500 Ram. I don't know what happened to this thing, but everything on this thing got destroyed. So we're painting pieces, handles, bumpers, beds, the cabs, truck, and everything. So we're gonna shoot this one here today with you guys. Just show you this big, massive job. I've been prepping all morning on it, and I'm gonna go over now to the other side and show you the, the bed, the hood, two doors, and then we got the body of the truck to do also. So hang out with me today and check out this big job. It's definitely gonna wear me out by the end of it because it's a big one. Let's check it out. All right, so this is the rest of the pieces that are over here on this side now. You guys see, it's almost the whole truck other than the roof and the tailgate got destroyed on this thing. Two new bedsides, a new door, repair on the front, repair on the hood, new bumpers, and then we still have the body to do. So let's get started on this. I'll show you the body later, but let's get started on these two booth loads, get them banged out, and then we're gonna show you the finished booth load later. But this is my Friday, and this is what's in store for me today, guys. So. Hang with me, let's shoot it and get it done. All right, I just wanted to go over on the parts here. On all my new parts with a factory E-coat, I hit those with 400 grit, DA, and a red scuff pad all around the edges. And then any plastic parts, like these grills, these are new grills here. I'm hitting them now with this Norton, the flexible film with a back by a Scotch-Brite. So it really goes around the edges nice, being that it's a uh, soft, uh, sandable material that doesn't gouge anything up. So I hit that on all of the plastic stuff here. This was a newer upper grill piece. We hit it with that. And also this here, we had a new gas lid door. So anything with a factory E-coat, 400 DA, a red scuff pad, hit all your edges. And then all the new plastic parts that have the factory primer on them that are new, I'm hitting them with this Norton Flexible Super Flex Film. This is a 1200, I have a six and other varieties of it too, 400, but really good stuff. Same thing on the primer, 400 on primer and 800 on blend. So we got it sealed. This job here is not gonna be too bad with the base because it's, it's just a uh, metallic black. So being I'm going over a nice black sealer, I'm gonna hit it with one coat of base and a drop coat and then it'll be ready for clear. So. I'm not gonna show you too much of the stages of this going through because we have three loads of this same job to uh, do. So we're gonna get bits and pieces of all of it and then I'll show you the finished up truck at the end of this video. But I wanted to show you guys what grits I'm using. Recommend whatever you guys use in the comments and uh, let me know what you guys are using. All right, so we got both booths based out and now we're gonna get into the clear coat. So we'll clear these up and you guys seen me prepping in between these jobs. That's why I was wearing my regular respirator. Until I get to my clear, I usually use my regular respirator. That way I can prep in between the jobs 
to get a little bit ahead. That way, as soon as the bake hits, I know I got 25 minutes to get that car in the booth. So we're gonna go ahead and clear both booths and hopefully I'll have that truck ready when this one's baking, because you know I like to stagger them, but this is the last load of the day uh, in the other side. So we're not filling that other booth so I don't have to go crazy because this was a big job and I prepped this job this morning from start to finish, this whole big truck job. So that's enough for me for the day. So let's clear this one up. All right, guys, we got it all done, prepped out in the booth, and now we're gonna get ready to shoot the rest of this job. And uh, definitely push me today to get this one done, especially by myself. So let's get in to finish this one up, and I'll show it to you guys all finished up, cleared. We're gonna seal it now, base it, and clear it. Let's do it. Alright guys, we got the one coat on it. We put it one heavy nice coat over that sealer is all we need. We're going to let this flash off and we're going to come in with our uh, control coat just to make sure this one even because it is a metallic. It's got that coarse flake in it, the PXJ. So I'm looking forward to getting this day over with, finishing up my week here with a nice one. This was definitely a big job for anyone to get done. And uh, it definitely wore me out today, but it feels good to do a job this size and get it done. Because now at the end of the night, when I'm sitting there relaxing, I could remember how much work I put in for the day. So I like doing that. And it makes my weekends feel that much better when I'm off. So I like to, I like to push hard during the week. And then on my weekends, I like to play hard and relax and have a good time. But you guys know I picked up that little golf cart job so I'll be working on that a little bit this weekend. I gotta get that thing finished up and shot. So stay tuned for that video also, but let's get this one finished up. All right guys, so it's all finished up and I thought I'd show you this little funny thing. How many times have you guys had to throw in a little tow hit cover? Last minute, we've been waiting on this thing for two weeks and I had to shoot this thing real quick to get this thing to go. So life of a painter, we'll see you next time and I hope you guys liked it. <laughs>